Fam, after a 20-year battle, Atlanta's Morris Brown College is now a fully accredited university. Students attending the college can now receive federal funding and graduate with accredited degrees. Morris Brown's president, Dr. Kevin James, says the school is the only college in the country to regain full accreditation and funding after 20 years without it. Financial mismanagement led to the school's loss of federal funding in 2002. Uh, now, many people thought that Morris Brown closed. They actually never closed, uh, but they basically lost all of their students, all their faculty. They had to sell off land and all of that. The historically black college was founded in 1881 by the African Methodist Episcopal Church to provide higher education for African Americans. After the Civil War, uh, Dr. Kevin Jones is going to be joining us on Friday's show. Uh, the thing here about uh, you know uh, Morris Brown and, and again getting um, uh, you know getting this accreditation uh, that was a change um, uh, in the last administration, uh, Scott. Um, when it comes to um, the different accreditation agencies down, you have SACS, uh, which most folks use. Uh, but you had a number of religious institutions who were arguing that they, they should be uh, expanding the use of accrediting agencies. That's really what allowed Morris Brown to gain the accreditation. Uh, and, you know, the point that they made is that it is the only school in Georgia that was founded by uh, free slaves. They say it was black folks who built Morris Brown. It was black folks uh, who made it possible. And they said it still should be allowed uh, to survive. And so uh, they are back in business. Yeah, they are. And whether it's Sachs or, you know, this other accreditation process that you just mentioned, uh, Payne College got reaccredited, uh, um, got its accreditation as well. And so it's great for both of those institutions. You know, Morris Brown never showed, never closed. Last year, uh, they have about 50 students. I think this year they have about 50 students. But with this new accreditation, they got a shot rolling for the following reasons. They're part of the Atlanta University Center with Morehouse Spellman, um, Atlanta, Univer Atlanta University, as well as Atlanta Clark University. One, they're a little far, farther north, but they're still in the AUC. They still own their land, if you will. And there's a ton of housing development focused on that AUC area that Morehouse Spelman, Morehouse um, School of Medicine, and Morris Brown can take advantage of. They've owned some land, and, which is near that uh, foot, the football stadium as well. That coupled with the George Floyd money, I call it the George Floyd money, where uh, uh, white millionaires, billionaires are giving money away to help the fact that Black Lives Matter. They've got a shot at that money now as well. And so I think if they stay focused, they manage, they lead the way they're supposed to, they'll be full partners with the other AUC institutions of higher academic learning. And I think the other schools in the AUC are pulling for them. The presidents are pulling for them. I'm pulling for them. I had a lot of friends who went to Morris Brown when I was at Morehouse in between 80 and 84. And so it's just a feel-good story, a great story. And let's hope and, and, and pray that they not only uh, succeed, but they excel. Uh, it really is a significant deal, uh, Jason. Uh, they never gave up. It's alumni uh, folks. They said, no, you know, we're, we're not going uh, to stop fighting uh, to keep the school open. Uh, and uh, they should be applauded uh, that for two decades uh, they uh, they fought through and made it happen. Yeah, no, it's it's a great story, as Scott said. And I'll say um, one of my heroes is a Morris Brown Morris Brown graduate, Hosea Williams, um, I believe is Morris Brown graduate. Um, yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah so I, I'm, I'm really, you know, I've been pulling for Morris Brown this entire time. I'd actually heard rumblings that they were trying to get their accreditation back. So I'm really happy that they were able to, to accomplish it. And I hope that they, you know, next year they have, you know, 200 students and the next year, 2000. And uh, there will be another place in the Atlanta area uh, for black students to get uh, a wonderful education like the other institutions in that area. Monique? Exactly. Nothing else. They covered it. That's it? That's it? That's, that's, that's it? It won't work? I can't believe she said that. That that that, that 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 will never happen with Scott. That will that will never happen with Scott. <laughs> One word will never happen. 
Let me put I mean, a punctuation I mean, just like, mark like on this never. Story. Scott, you know I ain't lying. That would never happen. <laughs> you will never give a one-word answer. All right, y'all. All right, folks. Back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. Black Power. We support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?